Welcome back to Boys on Film. We're covering South by Southwest 2023. Look who's back. It's Raj. We're on to the final day, I think, now, isn't it? Or you've just had the final day of the festival. Our final day of the festival was yesterday, and I can't believe it's over. It's been a, uh, a wonderful, wild ride, and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting as much rest as possible. <laughs> I would imagine, yeah, it, it must be so exhausting. I mean, I've done kind of similar festivals before, but South By is the, is the major one, isn't it? I mean, it's quite intense. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, I've never been to a festival bigger than South By. Um, it's immense. Um, lots of walking around, lots of waiting in lines, but world-class uh, film and world-class uh, new music discovery here. So I've had a wonderful week, Phil. Um, yeah, it's taken a toll. It always does. You've probably still got a lot more to talk about as well. Obviously, we're going to be covering a lot of that on these videos. So we're not actually live, as as it were. So we're, we're recording stuff, getting lots in the can. So check out our playlist, which is down in the description box below. And we'll link to it at the end of this video as well. But we're talking about a film called You Were My First Boyfriend. Tell us what yeah. you thought, Raj. So I kind of went into this film a little bit blind. I didn't know much about it. But yeah, this is uh, a new film by director Cecilia um, Alderondo uh, and Sarah uh, Enid Hagi. I hope I didn't butcher those names. Uh, but yeah, it's basically about um, Cecilia goes back to her high school reunion. I think it's, I wasn't quite sure if it was a 10, 20, or 30. Um, just to uh, talk to the people that you know she had big crushes on um, that were uh, maybe bullied her a little bit or how she tried to fit into different social cliques and it's kind of an examination of um, you know knowing everything that you know now and then confronting the past really in a sort of a hybrid um, documentary um, where they also um, do some reenactments that are, it's quite funny and it's quite emotional. Yeah, I was surprised that I liked this film. It was a bit different to what I was expecting, but um, you kind of, once you sat down, started to get into uh, what the mission of this character is doing, you just sort of strap in and and go for go along for the ride. So there's a lot of laughs. Um, there are a lot of, uh, you know, tearful moments. And at the end, you're just like, Oh, there's a story arc about a particular character who passed away um, in the film that um, really sort of sums everything up really well. So um, I believe the director said uh, her kind of quote around the movie is she went back to her high school reunion so you don't have to which I thought was really cute. I love that. <laughs> and it sounds really emotional, but it also sounds a tad cringe. Is it cringy? Because when you said, oh, she goes back to see people that she had a crush on and also people that bullied her at high school, I could just imagine that would be quite <laughs> quite emotional. I mean, for the wrong reasons as well. Is it like that or is it mainly positive? It's it's comedic, if anything. So yeah. there's, um, you know, there's a scene where she's where she sits down with her big high school crush and you see the before and the after and you know she tells she, you know she tells him all the deep intimate thoughts she had about him and shows him the poetry and that she used to write about him and it's a bit cringe but you know i think she's uh i think she's sacrificing a little bit of her, herself for our entertainment um but you know it's i don't think it's that cringe i think it's just for the comedic value alone, um, it's great filmmaking. And really heartfelt, presumably. Yeah, really heartfelt. There's a lot of scenes where um, that she reenacts and, you know, she plays herself. And, you know, there's this, I think you would even love this film. There's this whole segment in the film where they reenact a, a, Tor, a Tori Amos video. Um, wow, I'm so there. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, because her and her sister... Um, were massive, had massive uh, fans of Tori Amos, and they were so into her. And they, her and her sister, both reenacted the, the video, and it, it was really quite, it was really quite clever. So, not what you expect about, you know, oh, I'm going to my high school reunion sort of thing, but the way she takes on all the different uh, scenarios and compare, and you know, puts in pop culture references. Um, I just thought it was brilliant. There's even a whole like scene where her and her current partner are reenacting scenes from uh, My So-Called Life with uh, 
uh, Claire Danes and Jared Leto. Um, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. At the end, you'll be crying your eyes out, but um, you know, it definitely takes you on an emotional journey. This film. I love that, and I'm going to see Tori Amos in a couple of weeks at the Royal Albert Hall. So I think if if there's a reason to watch a movie, and it's that reason, <laughs> they're obviously reenacting one of Tori Amos's videos. It sounds great. So it's you and my first boyfriend. Obviously, for those watching in the UK, um, we're probably not likely to see this film for a while because that's the thing with South by, isn't it? I mean, you're so upfront getting these preview screenings. Yeah, I'm not sure where uh, distribution wise who's picking it up, uh, but uh, if you do see it. It's a great documentary. Uh, I highly, uh, highly advise you to check it out. So, are you able to give us a star rating, initial reaction? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get. I mean, I'm gonna give it a three. Um, this, it's a film that I was happy to see once in the cinema, and don't really need to see it again. Um, you know, unless you were at my house, Phil, and you wanted to watch it, I'd, I'd watch it again. With you. Yeah, <laughs> might hold you to that. <laughs> Thank you, Raj. And we've got plenty more where that came from. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.